This week on Monero Talk is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source and you always control your own keys. And by Stealth EX, an instant exchange where privacy is the top concern. Go to StealthEX.io to instantly exchange between Monero and 450 plus assets without having to create an account or register and with no limits making Stealth EX a simple way to purchase Monero with crypto anonymously. Monero Talk is also made possible from contributions by viewers and listeners like you. And supporting us is easier than ever. By typing in monerotalk.crypto in your monero.com or cake wallet send address field to send us a tip. All right, this is, this is amazing. What, what's going on over here? Is this a Monero ATM? No, it's a pizza box. Uh, and that happens to accept euro cash bills and it gives you monero ah i got you uh and so how, how does it function so we are using mqtt for the vacant is a technical question <laughs> okay so uh, we have another project called open kiosk where we write uh, open source software libraries and demons for kiosk parts and uh, it's using drive like a uh, demons for that so we have components as microservices so somebody puts their 20 euros in and, and effectively what happens after that how does it turn into monero that gets sent to a wallet so basically it uh, goes through the coin uh, to cash acceptor which later sends uh, the signal uh, to the demon that's uh, specific to this uh, bill acceptor it's a microservice then it broadcasts the message over mqtt so basically, it could even be connected over a network. The computer could be somewhere else, etc., or it could be like massive uh, array of uh, bill acceptors and like uh, gambling salons, etc. And what happens next is uh, it uh, registers it. It uh, is scan the wallet using the the uh, QR code scanner. It also sends a signal over MQTT. The, the wallet that you want your Monero sent to. You're saying is that what you're saying? Yeah. And then uh, basically we accept like the bills and then we send the, the Monero to that wallet. But how the sending works is this machine communicates with our Monero pay server. We have like, like a payment service. It's running somewhere in the server, in the cloud. And uh, it uh, does the transfer. So we do this because if so people, if, if they steal it, we could just disable it instantly. Mm. There's no private keys on the, on the machine. And so, is it fair to say it functions similar to the cryptocurrency ATMs that you do see out there existing? Is there any technical differences between between these? Well, for now, this one doesn't have KYC or and uh, regulatory issues, probably, but much better. <laughs> and also, it's uh, just a pizza box. Yeah, it's just a pizza box, or maybe it's uh, some autonomous tethering machine ATM, a tethering hotspot. <laughs> hotspot. Are you guys interested in, in taking this beyond prototype form or this was just kind of uh, to show people how easy it is to do these types of things? Well, we started this uh, open cost project because we, know when you start, we wanted to make the Monero ATM a thing and we realized that none of the components have existing open source libraries and it's very difficult to create any kind of cost machine. So we started writing libraries for these things and we are planning to provide support for building kiosks, kiosk machines. It doesn't have to be ATM, it can be a vending machine. And later we plan to make maybe Monero ATMs that are both ways. They can accept uh, cash and also give a back cash for Monero. And we're planning to make it uh, have a local price algorithms. So uh, the, the price of Monero is determined by, by the supply and uh, by demand basically, like, and the amount of available space in the machine. So the operator would not need to go to the machine and like take the cash out, bring it to bank. It would be powered by the community. So they put, put, put cash in, take cash out. Oh, right. Because people would also be using it to remove cash. So you're saying it would create yeah. an equilibrium where there's always yeah, it, cash to be. If the machine is too full, uh, uh, buying the Monero would be cheaper than uh, putting the Monero in. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Do current crypto currency ATMs do that or absolutely not it's a very complex algorithm 
I, I, love, I love that idea. So uh, can we do a little demo? Fran, you want to demo this? So Tell us what you're doing. Um, I'm going to insert this euro that someone euros. let me borrow. Well, 20 we'll euros. Scan the wallet. Oh, yeah. Fir first, <laughs> first you got to scan the wallet so you know where the Monero is going to go. Looks like that, and then you scan it on top of the on top of the that little black thing. You wait for it to go through. Okay, scan. Then you. You better find the address, just in case there's some mail. Check or check the address to see that that matches that, so you know that your Monero is going to be sent to this address. Yeah. Okay, you. and then you press. Accept. Next. Next, and then you when you see the blue light flashing. You insert the euro, you insert the dollar, but you have to make sure that it's on that slit or else it won't work. Okay. Hold it in. Try again. Try again. Try again. Oopsie. Take it out and try it. So, put it on the slit. This happened a lot. Try holding it by further and like just make a single swooping motion. And it's there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's <was> right. <laughs> For a bit. All right. Okay. <laughs> then when you see that it says the euros Rece that you've got, it when it says receive this much euros, then you press next. You wait for it a little bit, and then you press done. And as it says returning, and so if you don't press done in these seconds, then it will come back to you. Here it also displays the XID, displays the fee that it was paid, and the amount, and the address that we Right, transaction sent. was already sent. Yeah, and now I can open my phone, and I'll see it, that there's a pending transaction. Hang on. So I'll show that to the camera. Well, let's see if it comes in first. It's still coming, but... Uh... It might. Oh, here it is. Fantastic. There you go. It's not an ATM. ATM. It's a. It's a pizza box with some some tech in it. Exactly. With some open source tech in it. Exactly. Just a pizza box. Very cool, guys. Where where do we uh, learn more about this project or people that maybe want to build things using what you've developed? Uh, for now, probably the best uh, website to visit would be OpenCast.org, where. We're describing the libraries that we're using, that we created ourselves. And if it's more ATM related, then it's atm.monero.is. Do you guys want to uh, put any information about yourselves out there where people can follow you, find you, or well, find your work? I'm not even sure. Maybe Matrix channel group uh, right here. That's like ATM, kernel, but you. Thank you so much. Any last words? No, have fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. This is amazing. Cheers. All right. What's going on over here, guys? Well, we are preparing some terere, Paraguayan special tea, which is served by, by Prania. Yeah, she looks very familiar. Very familiar. Superstar. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Prania. I don't know if you know me. I am his daughter, and I'm making... Terera, 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 terera. And what do you think of MoneroCon so far, baby? I think it's quite fun. It, ever, ever since, ever since I saw this stand yesterday, I was like, "What is this?" And then I tried it, and then they let me make it, and then it's really cool. This is a special straw that they use to drink it. But usually to the customers, we give these straws. And I started because I love delivering. I loved, I was making coffee and delivering it. So that's why I'm doing it with Terere. Uh, it was professionally explained. This is the way how you should drink it. With a lot of ice, more dilutions, and, and drink it in a hot weather and together. And you're with Liberation Travel, right? Yes, exactly. With Pavel Luptak, Liberation Travel. And he was just providing this as a... Uh... To bring it. He's, he's talking a lot about Paraguay and getting Paraguayan residencies. So how, how to explain it better than to have some Paraguayan drink. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll talk to you later, Fran. Huh? I'll talk to you later. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you
Do you love coffee and Monero as much as we do? Consider making gratuitous.org your daily cup. Pay with Monero for premium fresh beans, and if you like what you taste, send a digital cash tip directly to the Guatemalan farmers that made it possible. Proceeds help us grow this channel, Gratuitous, and Monero. All right. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Good morning, Douglas. It's going great. Thanks. Yeah, it's all good. Can you guys uh, quickly introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. I'm uh, Ivo. I work for uh, Flexiana. We are a um, software development um, company that uh, help uh, companies to build and improve digital services. And uh, we are uh, currently building Cicada Wallet that um, was um, inspired by our own needs as uh, we are remote first company and we have uh, uh, developers all over the world. And um, a few years ago, we started paying them in crypto. So that's a great thing. However, uh, even if it's really uh, fast, uh, cheap and easy, when you are doing something like 40, 50 payments per month, you need some kind of uh, integration with the accounting system. So that was our need and we thought that would be useful for uh, other companies as well. So that way we get to the idea to develop uh, such a wallet that's uh, using, helping companies to use crypto and it's uh, integrating with the accounting system, business intelligence for reporting tools, uh, and we have some great features around like batch payments, etc. cetera. Mm. Yeah, we, we might actually need that, right, Sunita? Uh, we we, we t pay quite a few people in Monero with uh, assisting us in our businesses. It might be a good solution there. Yeah, uh, my name is Ado. I work uh, at the same company at Lexiana, and I'm, I'm right now focusing on, on the Cicada wallet. And I do marketing. So, yeah, that's... That's what I do. Now, I saw Cicada Wallet at the last MoneroCon as well. Have you, uh, are you guys released yet? Is it, is it out there? Is it out in the open? Um, yeah, this is just when we started developing the product and uh, we are still not live, but supposedly are going to be by September, by the end of uh, September. So we are still in uh, development process, but in the final stage, call it. And the product, it's really for businesses, for helping them essentially with managing their, their payments to employees and consultants and following proper accounting procedures, things like that? Exactly. Yeah. There is going to be a personal wallet that's going to be free of charge, but uh, there's going to be the business wallet that's intended for companies to uh, integrate with their accounting system and do these batch payments and stuff. So, yeah. And where is the is the crypto held? It's you know hold your own keys type of thing. Is it is there a multi sig solution? How, how's that all working? Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, you hold the company holds their own keys. Definitely, we are about security, and uh, it's uh, not multi sig. And the purpose for that uh, would be uh, that uh, in a company you have people living so it's really tough to do that. You just have different roles with different level of, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, doing what uh, you are doing. Okay. Uh, right, but Cicada is not holding any key, right? There's no, uh, you know, multi-sig there with Cicada being one of the key holders. No, we are not holding. It's non-custodial wallet. Very cool, very cool. And it's Bitcoin, It's aiming to be Bitcoin and Monero only, essentially? Yeah, for now, that that is the plan, but uh, but we're also looking at, uh, at other coins and yeah, but for now, this is this is the plan. We, we, we believe these are the most secure and the most decentralized currency, so just Bitcoin and Monero for now. And afterwards, if there are some needs by clients, we might think of adding some other currencies as well. Very cool. And so the, the customer based wallet, the, the free wallet, what kind of uh, features will, will that have? Is it going to be similar to like a, a Monero Uju, a Cake wallet? Is it going to be, are there going to be some differences there? 
Um, I'm not really familiar with the competition and supposedly I have to be. <laughs> so I can't say you're yeah. aware. Yeah. I'm also a bit bad at, the, at, at exactly what differs in the personal wallet. We've been focusing so much on the business wallet right now and that's been the main marketing push from our side. What do you guys, uh, do you guys personally use Monero? Yes, I do. What do you guys use for your, your wallet purposes? Um, not having a wallet. Uh, I just have a small, right. yeah. J just started last year with uh, one Monero, yeah. What um what else is the, so you said Cicada was, uh, you know, one of the products that your, your company is working on. What, what else? Does the main company is the main company developing? Mm. Uh, that's uh, our first product, and uh, we also have another product that's going that is uh, HR system. Think of uh, CRM for recruiters. Again, inspired by our our own needs. As uh, imagine, we are hiring a lot of uh, developers, and we needed such a system. So these are our only products. And we are software development consultancy that we help other companies with developing their products. And you guys said you guys kind of built this out of what you saw as a, your own personal need, I guess, from dealing with your your own employees and having to pay the bills. Do you pay most of your employees in crypto? Um, yeah, I wouldn't say uh, most, but uh, close to half of them. So we have a lot of uh, developers, like uh, 60, 70 people in the company. So All over the world. I'm sure. Yeah, like close to half of them are paid in crypto. Very cool. And are any of them accept, uh, accepting Monero, preferring Monero, or what, what's, what, what do most of them accept? I would say most of them are preferring Bitcoin, but there are still some that uh, accept Monero. Very cool. Very cool. What do you guys think of MoneroCon? Uh, it's been it's been a really great opportunity to to network. I haven't been at many of those uh, of the uh, of the talks. I plan to see the most interesting ones online. Uh, so I've taken the opportunity instead to talk to people here and get to know a bit more about. Uh, yeah, the people that are here and then the talks I'll get to later, I think. Very cool. How about, you, how about yourself? What's your Monero con take? Yeah, it's a great uh, meeting, very interesting people here, great talks. Yesterday I was in a couple of uh, them, so great experience. All right, guys, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, where, I guess where can people learn more about Cicada Wild and catch it when it's actually released? Say again? Where can they learn more about it and find it when yeah, it's actually released? So, so we do have a wait list right now on our website. So just sign up to the wait list and we'll send you a bit more information when it's, when it's time. Um, apart from that, check us out on Twitter or on, on LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, I think right now we're also on Noster. That's a new social media, I guess, for us. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, sign up to the wait list, basically. We will assist you with that. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. We release new episodes every week. You can find and subscribe to our show on YouTube, Odyssey, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Go to MoneroTalk.live to subscribe for a full list of places where you can watch and listen. If you want to interact with us, guests, or other podcast listeners, you can follow us on Twitter. And please leave us a review on iTunes. It helps people find the show, and we are always happy to read them. So thanks so much, and we look forward to being back next week.